Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. I've been asked a few times how to choose a do-it-yourself kit to build a microphone from microphoneparts.com. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go! Microphoneparts.com is the best place to order do-it-yourself kits to build microphones. The reason is they give you all the parts so you don't have to buy anything else. Everything is included, everything but the tools. And they give you also a very comprehensive booklet uh, with instructions step by step how to build it, where to put all the parts and even some tips how to solder and stuff like that. But the question is, uh, with all the options that they give you, what microphone should I buy? So today we're gonna compare the S87, this microphone, what you're hearing right now, the T47 and the T12. Um, the first difference uh, that you see in those microphones are the capsule. So the S87, as the capsule name RK87 and the build itself is inspired from the classic Neumann U87. The U87 is one mic that is mostly uh, common in all studios for uh, vocal recording and voiceover and many other instruments as well. And the T47 uh, the difference is that this one has a transformer in it, this one does not. And the T87 has a bit less high frequencies and it, it is uh, reminiscent of older microphones, the classic uh, U87, of course, uh, the capsule, the RK87, uh, which is included in this build. Um, and after that, we're going to compare them to uh, the T12, and the T12 uh, has the same circuit as the T47, but a different capsule, uh, which is a different uh, EQ curve by itself. So the T12 is inspired from the classic AKG C12, uh, which has a little bump, uh, a bit more high frequencies than uh, the other two. So let's hear them in action. In all the years that I've known you, you never seemed so sad. But after all the bad times you've been through, the luck should be coming back. In all the years that I've known you, you never seemed so sad. But after all the bad times you've been through, the luck should be coming back. The luck should be coming back the luck should be coming back the luck should be coming back to you in all the years that i've known you you never seem so sad 
But after all the bad times you've been through, the Lord should be coming back. In all the years that I've known you, you never seem so sad. But after all the bad times you've been through, the Lord should be coming back. The luck should be coming back. The luck should be coming back. The luck should be coming back to you. This is the test of the T47 at 6 inches. This is a test of the S87 at 6 inches. This is a test of the T12 at 6 inches. This is a test of the T47 at 3 inches. This is a test of the S87 at 3 inches. This is a test of the T12 at 3 inches. So you've heard the three microphones in action on guitars, on vocals and as a room mic. Um, the differences are very subtle, but they, but they are still there. Uh, the T12 has a little bit more high frequencies, the T47 has a bit less high frequencies, and of course the S87 stands in the middle. If you did miss the difference, I'm gonna play uh, just a tiny bit of a pink noise that I've recorded with the three mics and let you hear uh, a complete spectrum of frequencies being recorded by the microphones, maybe you'll hear more of the difference. I won't put any uh, spectrum analyzer image because sometimes we look at the image and we don't use our ears. So let's start with the uh, T47. And now the S87. And now the T12. And the three consecutive. The most important thing to remember when uh, choosing a microphone is to choose the mic that match the source. So if there are some defects to what you're hearing from the instrument, let's say um, some sibilance from a vocal or some aggressive high frequencies from uh, cymbals of a drum, you could choose a microphone that has less of those frequencies to compensate. Uh, or you can go with a microphone that is uh, more balanced overall and uh, you'll have to compensate more on the EQs while mixing. One thing to avoid is to record everything with the same microphones. Let's say I took the T12 and recorded a, a whole band instrument by instrument. Thing is, the T12 has a bump in the high frequencies and every instrument will have the same one. So in the end, if you sum all those frequencies that are boosted by the EQ of the microphone, they will have too much in your recording and it will be very hard to mix. So the good thing to do is to change microphones from sources from sources. Of course, when you're in a little uh, studio at home, you may not have a good inventory of microphones, but you should have at least a few and exchange them and change places in your room and change the distance. Uh, so all the recordings that you will do will be a bit different and will mix better together because they won't step on each other. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, put questions and comments in the comments below. That's what is driving the channel. This video is a direct answer to one of those questions. And of course, share my videos, it's always a great help.